In this video, we will output the list of existing comments on the comments.cfm page on the admin site. The trick here is to group the comments by their related news. To do that, we will need to nest two CF output blocks. So let's return to ColdFusion Builder, and if you made it up to this point, the comments.cfm page should already contain a bunch of code. Let's run that page in the browser to see how it looks like. So at that moment, I have no comments awaiting approval, but if you do have some comments awaiting approval, they would show here in a table. Now let's return to ColdFusion Builder, and here, just after getting the list of comments to approve, I will now create another variable to get the list of approved comments. So here I will need another CF set to create the approved comments variable and I will make it equal to something that is in the comments service component and that something is the get all comments method. Now let's take a look at that get all comments method which is in the comments service.cfc component. This is the method here. You see that it retrieves a bunch of data from the comments table. It also retrieves the title of the associated news. The very important thing here is that it only takes approved comments from the database, thanks to that WHERE clause, and the comments are also ordered by their related news. This is very important for the rest of the exercise. So let's return to the comments.cfm page, and right here, after the first table that outputs the list of unapproved comments, I need a second H2 title for the list of approved comments. And at that location, I will first use the CF dump tag to dump the approved comments variable. So let's save and run that page. And you see that the approved comments variable is a query. It contains five comments in my case. And you see that those comments are grouped by the name of their related news. So you see that three comments are associated to that news. You also see that for the last two comments, those are the only comments of their respective news. So let's return to Cold Fusion Builder and I will remove my dump here and start an HTML table. Now inside that table I need a CF output and I want that CF output to loop over the query approved comments. Now inside of that loop, inside of that CF output, I will output a table row, so I need the tr tag of HTML for that, and inside of that row I need a th tag of HTML, a table header, and I want to output here the FLD news title, which is a piece of data that is in that approved comments query. So if I save and run the page, you will see a table with five rows because I have five comments in my database and you see that the first three rows contain the same data because that news has three associated comments. If I want to avoid having three times the same news, you probably know the trick already, I need the group attribute of the CF output tag and I will group by FLD news 
title. This is the same trick that the one we used on the news.cfm page to output the sidebar with the years of the news. So if I run the page now, you see that each news appears only one, even though I know that this first news here has three approved comments. Now I want to display the comments associated with each of those news. So let's return to Cofusion Builder. And it is here that I will create another CF output block inside of the first one. So I nest two CF outputs. And by doing that, I create a loop inside of a loop. So here in the inner loop, I want to output some table rows. And I will need here five cells. So I will need five TD blocks. One, two, three, four, five. Long leave the copy paste. And in the first cell of that table, I will date format. Another piece of data that is in that approved comments query. And it is the FLD comment date. And I will use a mask to format that date, the month day year mask. In the second row of the table, I want to output the FLD comment author, which is also a piece of data that is present in that approved comments query. In the third row, I want to output the FLD comment content, like that. And now for the last two cells of the table, I need a modify and a reject link. So I will take that modify link here in the table of unapproved comment because it's going to be exactly the same code. And I will do the same for the reject here. I will just change the reject into delete, but otherwise it's the very same code. Now, if I save and run that page, you see that I could output the comments associated with each news in a second loop, in an inner loop. But you see that I have one small problem here with that th, which doesn't span the whole width of the table. So to solve that problem, I will return to Confusion Builder. And I will add here the call span attribute of HTML, make it equal to five, because I have five cells here in the second loop of my CF output. And if I now save and run that page, this is the final version of the comments page. You see that if I click on modify, I should open the comment edit.cfm page and see the current data of the chosen comment. If I return to the comments page here, I can delete that comment. I will delete that testing comment. And if I click on OK, the comment is gone. The delete operation has been performed. The next and last section of the admin site that you will build is the user's administration. And the step-by-step -step instructions are provided in the next PDF file whose name is now on the screen. I will meet you in the next video in which we will talk about sending emails using Cold Fusion.